Hello there, amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new, exciting Doctor Who unboxing video for today. So, of course, right now, as you can see, I'm unboxing Doctor Who The Collection Season 18, the standard. And I picked this up from HMV earlier today. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I unboxing the standard edition? Do I not own the limited edition set? Well, I collect both the standard and limited editions. And I've started this around about July, June or July. And really, I've just got one more box set to get, which is, of course, Doctor Who Collection Season 12. But I'm thinking I might hold off until Season 2 materialises, hopefully by Christmas. So here is Doctor the Collection Season 18, the limited edition, and of course the standard edition. So as you can see, mine is inside this fantastic plastic protector to look after the fantastic collector's edition, or the limited edition, I should say. So I'm literally going to pop that to one side and let's focus into this one. And then of course, later on, after I've done this, literally this bit, I'm going to show you all of my limited edition sets, what I've got so far. So, Doctor the Collection Season 18. What can I say about Season 18? Is it a bad season? No. Is it a good season? Well, I actually quite enjoy it. There's only one story in here which is actually quite bad. And that is, of course, the Leisure Hive. But the rest of the stories, like Maglos, Full Circle, State of Decay, Warrior's Gate, The Keeper of Trogon, and Agopolis, are really good. And they are some of my favourite stories from the Tom Baker era. Now, the second worst story of the season is, of course, Warriors Gate, but I still quite enjoy it for some of the some of the special, like some of the effects they do with the tires traveling through the void and stuff, which is actually quite good and really quite interesting. So this is basically the front cover done by Lee Binding. As you can see, you've got Tom Baker waving goodbye to the universe, and it really gives me fives to basically the Steelbook with the Tenth Doctor about to regenerate into his base into the Eleventh Doctor. So it really does kind of give me those two vibes, really, if you look at them both together, which is actually pretty cool. I have to be honest with you, I do prefer season 18 over this the specials for the 10th Doctor. Classic Who is so much better than Modern Who, in my retrospect opinion. So anyway, let's get the cellophane off. So of course you've got this, and of course you can see I've paid $42.99 for it. So anyway, let's get the cellophane off, shall we, and show you the actual collection through the discs and stuff there will be a video comparing this season with the limited edition i still need to do the season 23 version because i did get that one last month and i forgot to do the actual showing you the comparison so here is doctor the collection season 18 as you can see the artwork is absolutely stunning by lee binding i absolutely love it and the fact that this box set well the limit the stand lim, the limited edition came out back in 2000 and uh 19 2019 so yeah this did came out around right about 2021 2022 i think and if you look at the back of it as you can see build your own doctor who archive set with this collector set with leisure hive maglas full circle state of decay warriors gate keep your truck and legopolis plus canine and company as you all know it does contain all the special effects and all the stuff that we have on the standard editions and then of course if you look at the if you just slide it out, so you got this fantastic little card, cobble sleeve, instead of having the horrible J cards. I really don't like the J cards for the limited editions, but I still love the limited editions because of other things with them. So you got the clear artwork of the fourth doctor, and you got the watcher, there's the Malka, you have a Marshman, you've got a a Vavazi, and of course you have Anthony Ainley's incarnation of the master, which is actually Anthony Ainley's debut story basically for as Tremus in the Keeper Truck and then of course he becomes the master at the end of Keeper Truck and then because he's the master in Legopolis and of course he causes the fourth doctor's regeneration. I love the fantastic blue and starfield effect here. it really gives you like pop out 1985s. Then of course at the back of it you've got the TARDIS materializing you've got the fantastic Warriors Gate where they open up and you've got other dimensions and stuff. At the side, you've got Doctor of the Collection Season 18. I love the fact how it's in a, play, in a, in a clear Blu-ray box like you get with the other ones. So, yeah, I'll show you the quick disc. So, of course, you have a really, really small booklet, which is basically not as big as you get for the collectors, the limited edition sets, because they are a lot bigger and a lot better. 
But yeah, as you can see, we've got a fantastic imagery of Tom Baker in his season 18 outfit. Then of course you've got the Leisure Hive, Maglus, Full Circle, State of Decay. It does tell you basically what's on each disc. And of course, not much about the stories where the other one tells you more about the stories and the production towards it. And of course you have K9 and company at the back with bonus materials. So I will show you the difference between this one and the next one. Well, that's, as you know, the basically the limited edition. So, of course, you've got Leisure Hive on disc one, Magras on disc two, disc three. We have Full Circle with the Doctor and K9 watching the Marshmen. Season 18, disc four is, of course, from State of Decay when the Tysus Matilla rises in the ancient village where the vampires are laying. Warriors Gate, again, I love that 3D spectrum of the Tysus where it comes through his eyes. Then, of course, you've got my favourite story of the season, the Keeper of Trocken. I absolutely love Keeper of Trocken. This was the very first story I actually watched on VHS for season 18, I've got to be honest with you. Um, because that came out around about 2003, something like that, on VHS. And my dad had picked it up in a charity shop, I think, or something like that. I can't remember my dad got it from, but I remember watching it. It was my very first season 18 story. Then, of course, you've got... As you all know, the fantastic final story for the fourth Doctor, Legopolis, which I absolutely love it. And it's so much better than the end of time. If you want to see a Doctor's proper farewell, watch this one. Do not watch the end of time. Never, ever watch the end of time. And then, of course, you've got K9 and Company's disc at the back of it. And then, of course, instead of having, like, the Doctor's face and, of course, where the, the little flat work contains the booklet, but you do have... The TARDIS in tenure. So basically you got it from the Gopolis where the Doctor materializes around the police box. And inside that police box is another police box. And inside that other police box is another police box because of the Master materializing his TARDIS around it and doing the same what the Doctor is planning to in the final story of Legopolis. I absolutely do enjoy season 18. I don't know what people think of it. I know some people prefer the Graham Williams era seasons over season 18. But for me, I actually prefer this season over the Graham Williams seasons. I absolutely do prefer season 18. It's such a different take on the fourth Doctor. It's done brilliant. Honestly, absolutely brilliant and amazing. I absolutely do quite enjoy it. So I'm literally going to get the other limited edition sets and i'll show you my limited edition collection so just bear with me right then so here is basically my fantastic doctor the collection limited edition set so we have season eight which contains the second season of john pertwee's incarnation of the doctor so i love the fact i got this on the standard release and of course i've got the collection edition on blu-ray then of course i have season 10 for John Pertwee's basically second to last season. And of course, it is honestly my favourite Pertwee season. If I just move the camera up a bit. I absolutely do love season 10. It is just my favourite Pertwee season. I absolutely do love it. And it's just fantastic. It's such a good season. Then of course we have Doctor the Collection season 14 standard release. Now I haven't got season 12 yet. But I'm thinking of hold, waiting until we get Doctor the Collection season 2 to come out. Before I pick up season 12. Then we have the very first one I got in this range, basically with Doctor the Collection Season, as you can see, 17. Now, Season 17, I did pick up along with some other Doctor Who seasons because I literally got my hands on the American release on the same day as I brought Season 17 of Doctor Who the Collection, Peter Davison, season, the complete Season 1. So this is the American release of these and... As you can see, the same artwork and stuff. So I will show you a bit more about that one a bit later. Oh, actually, I've already done a video on this one. So I will put the link in that one for you in the description. And of course, we have Doctor of the Collection Season 18. Doctor of the Collection Season 19. Then, of course, we have the American release of Season 19, aka Doctor of the Collection Season 21, which is, of course, region free. And then, of course, we have in my collection Doctor of the Collection of the Standard Editions of season 22 and then of course we have doctor the collection season 23 standard edition then of course we have season 24 and season 26 i absolutely do love the collection sets i love getting the limited edition sets i'm all up to date on them i've literally just pre-ordered back 
when it was announced Doctor Who The Collection Season 25, which is coming out less than a month, which I absolutely cannot wait for. And, and we, I'm so excited to see the fantastic brand new versions of each of those stories with updated CGI effects, like for Member of the Daleks, The Happiness with Trolls, Silver Nemesis, and of course, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. But I absolutely love collecting the standard editions as well. But these are absolutely brilliant and amazing. So to actually collect the both versions of the limited editions and the standard editions is just brilliant. Because I don't really want to damage the standard, the, the, as you all know, the limited edition sets. Where these ones, it doesn't really matter because you can literally just slide them out. And of course you can see the artwork. So that is basically my collection for the limited edition sets. Well, for the standard sets, sorry, so far. So I will do a video basically showing you when season twice season twenty five comes out, and I will basically show you all of my Doctor Who collection basically limited edition sets because you get the limited edition sets before you get these sets. I think from what I've been reading, we might be getting season two round about November December time because it is coming up to the when that was released because the last one we had released was of course season 22 and that was round about back in june or july and then of course it came out in the same year as doctor the collection season two came out with william hartnell so i will still get that one and i still need to get season 12 but that is my doctor Who, the standard edition so far let me know in the comments if you're collecting both what do you think of basically season 18 do you enjoy it do you not enjoy it let me know in the comments please do like subscribe share and join me for more awesome doctor who content